Good morning, story time, friends. It's Wednesday morning, November 11th. We're here for our online story time. Let's sing our unofficial online story time song. It goes like this. Online story time, online story time. It's online story time time. All right, that's so much fun. I love singing that song. I am Miss Lisa. I am the Children's Services Librarian at Easel Memorial Library. And as usual, I'm really excited for online story time. Our theme for this morning, Wednesday, November 11th, are buttons. Did you know, according to Funk and Wagnall's New World Encyclopedia, which I access through our TechShare databases, that buttons were worn as ornaments since the Bronze Age. And the Greeks and Romans used buttons as ornaments. I'm sorry, as fasteners. So buttons have been around for a really long time, but since the Greeks and Romans, they've actually had a purpose and they've been used as fasteners. Also, it's National Button Day on Monday, November 16th. So let's celebrate that little round, usually a little round thing we call the button. I'm going to do a retelling of Pete the Cat and his four groovy buttons. I'm going to show you how to make a button tree at home, and you get to see a fun book display that's available this morning. Let's get started. This is a retelling of Pete the Cat and the four groovy buttons. One morning, Pete the Cat woke up and put on his favorite yellow shirt with four round, colorful, groovy buttons. He loved his favorite yellow shirt with the four buttons so much, he sang this song. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. Pop! Oh no, one of the buttons popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? There's one, two, three. Was Pete sad? Did he cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. He sang his song again, this time only counting the three buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. Pop! Oh no, another button popped off. and rolled away. How many buttons are left? One, two. Was Pete sad? Did he cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. He sang his song again, this time only counting the two buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. <gasps> Pop! Guess what happened? Another button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? <gasps> One. Was Pete sad? Did he cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. He sang the song again, this time only counting the one button. My button, my button, my one groovy button. My button, my button, my one groovy button. <gasps> Oh no, the last button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? <gasps> Zero. Was Pete sad? Did he cry? 
Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. Pete looked down at his buttonless shirt, and do you know what he saw? He, he saw his belly button, and he kept on singing. My button, my button, I still have my belly button. My button, my button, I still have my belly button. The end. Here is our book display that's available this morning. Uh, come and get them while they're still here. We've got Pete the Cat and his four groovy buttons. We have Lift, Corduroy, The Button Book, Don't Push the Button, The Good for Nothing Button, and Push Button. Here's the button tree. This is the craft you can make at home. You could make it small, medium, or large. I took some cardboard from a cereal box that was due to be recycled. I drew on some tree branches and a tree trunk and some leaves. You could use crayons or markers. I used colored pencils. You could buy your own buttons, or you can find buttons sitting around the house, maybe in a junk drawer, and you just glue them on with Elmer's glue. Super simple, and it is really cute. So that's it. If you make a button tree at home, I'd love to see it in the comments. Y'all have a great day until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.